As we've mentioned, the two Korean leaders raised the possibility of further talks that would not only involve the United States, but also China. The country not on that list with direct security concerns about North Korea is Japan. Last year, North Korea fired a missile over the Japanese island of Hokkaido, a move described as an unprecedented threat. There's another issue as well. North Korea has admitted to abducting 13 Japanese citizens in the late 70s and early 80s. It's suspected many more were taken, apparently, to train North Korean spies. Many of the families of those who disappeared believe their loved ones are still alive. It's an emotional issue in Japan, and one the Japanese Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe, has vowed to resolve. For a Japanese perspective, we've reached Mieko Nakabayashi, a former member of Japan's House of Representatives and now a professor at Waseda University in Tokyo. She spoke to us from Tokyo. First, tell me how the news of this historic summit was viewed in Japan. It was broadcasted extremely widely, and uh, uh, most of Japanese heard about it through evening news, morning news, even during the lunchtime. And uh, at the beginning, the uh, meeting uh, seems to be very exciting because it was a historic visit by uh, Kim Jong-un to the South uh, Territory. And uh, it seemed very, um, so much uh, performance, filled with the performance. And uh, nobody could oppose uh, against that kind of uh, peaceful movement. However, a lot of people are skeptical. Uh, and perhaps understandably so. I know Japan has been very sensitive about these talks, even protesting the dessert because it had a picture of the Korean peninsula that included some territory. Um, how, how would you describe Japan's overall attitude towards these talks? Yes. Uh, just a moment ago, Prime Minister Abe announced his uh, welcome uh, of uh, this kind of peaceful movement. However, there are lots of issues uh, left, even though two leaders agreed on certain uh, framework. And uh, abduction issue that uh, most Japanese are concerned with is not really announced or included into the communique. Therefore, the disappointment became bigger. They're talking about three-way, perhaps four-way talks that would include, obviously, the United States and perhaps China. Uh, where does that leave Japan? Well, um, Japan is in a little bit difficult place uh, because uh, it has abduction issue. Therefore, uh, Japan cannot really um, uh, put its face into uh, such a dialogue and even to offer any kind of support because uh, Prime Minister Abe's administration and most of uh, Japanese people are most concerned about the abduction issue and uh, denuclearization of Korean Peninsula. Therefore, so far, we welcome the historic dialogue, uh, but at the same time, we are extremely cautious about the development regarding nuclear issue and abduction issue. I mean, obviously, the security issue is, is critical, not just for Japan, but obviously for the region as well. What does Japan need to do next, do you think, to become a part of this process, if indeed the process goes ahead? Mm -hmm. Well, next phase is going to be the uh, summit meeting uh, between North Korean Kim Jong-un and American President Trump. Mm -hmm. And we don't know uh, yet where and when it is going to be held. I'm sure the United States is uh, watching uh, today's summit meeting very carefully. And maybe it went as they so far expected. However, the crucial uh, agenda is left uh, to those uh, two countries, uh, North Korea and the United States. And uh, President Trump uh, may not sit on the table too long if uh, he couldn't get any satisfiable uh, agreement uh, between the two countries. Japan is trying to influence President Trump through uh, lots of channels with the United States. 
And uh, President Trump already promised uh, to denuclearize North Korea and uh, talk about uh, uh, abductees of Japan at the negotiating table. Uh, we don't know whether it can be realized uh, in what extent. However, the effort is always welcome. Ms. Nakabayashi, thank you very much for your insight on this. Thank you very much.